Welcome to our camper van. So today I wanted to do a video about how much our van build costs. All right, so a lot of people want to know how much did it actually cost in the end to build and convert the van? Uh, it varies greatly, it depends on if you do build the things yourself or buy things more finished, how elaborate you're making it. And uh, we try to do it as budget friendly as we could. And I was kind of curious myself because I wasn't keeping track of how much it costs till the end. So obviously the Sprinter van isn't for everybody and it has its issues just like all the rest of them but we felt that we were going to have the most reliable and longest lasting van with a diesel. So first of all was buying the van. We spent probably nine months looking for a van, all different makes and models, tried to keep below $20,000 was our main goal. Uh, we needed to be able to uh, seat more than two people and have enough space to convert it into an area that could sleep more than two people also. So we looked at lots of different things, lots of different vehicles, and we settled on the Sprinter and we ended up getting a 2012 high top 2500 the long wheelbase 170 inch wheelbase uh, cargo van we couldn't find it in anything else with windows so right off the bat we knew that our cost was going to be higher because we were going to have to add seats and we we're going to have to add windows so the first cost is buying the van for $21,000 From there, we had to buy seats. And seats could range from $1,500 to $800. We were lucky we had to drive a long ways to get them for $800. Then the mounts were $125 to mount them on the, in the back of the van, and that's for a three passenger seat. And then we had to buy windows because it was a cargo version, another $1,100. Those two things right there were our biggest expense. Third biggest expense is solar. And solar can vary greatly on the price, depending on how big of a system, what kind of batteries, how many batteries, charge controllers and everything. We tried to go with a basic system, 200 watts, two 12 volt AGM batteries and our total cost for our system was about $800. Easily could have gone way higher. We bought just two batteries, two solar, two panels and uh, charge controller, 1500 watt inverter, 3000 watt peak and uh, that was our third biggest expense. So the next thing insulation. We didn't spend a whole lot on insulation. We did pretty good. $175. Paneling and sheeting about $126. And then we have all of the wood. That includes all the wood for the bed frames, the kitchen, toilet boxes. Uh, and that comes up to about $275.
Then we have all of our stain, our sealer. If you remember, I used a special expensive sealer that coats all of the surfaces to help them from outgassing, and that ended up costing about $150. I needed a good mattress. My mattress was $150. It's a six inch memory foam mattress. Our flooring cost about $60. This just had the stock radio, and we replaced it with a radio navigation system and a backup camera that cost about $170 installing it ourselves. All of the Luan in all of the surfaces underneath, on the cabinets, ceilings, that cost us about $130. We splurged on a few things, bought some actual door panels, and those were from Ikea, and that cost $100. Appliances can vary greatly in price. We had this little bitty dorm fridge, 1.7 cubic feet. It was about $100. We have a Camp Chef two-burner propane cook stove. This was about $100. It's a lot heavier duty than your regular Coleman cook stove. Um, it's actually very heavy. And uh, we have a propane tank underneath here, a couple of other electrical things. Underneath here we have a water pump. It was $15, and faucet maybe $15, the bowl about 8 Also under here is our 16-gallon water tank, and that was $50. The backsplash is actually metal tin made in the United States. And it was $30, and this nice little storage shelf thing here, wire thing, is uh, 12 Our little bit of luxury, our TV with our wall mount bracket, total about $175. All right, so we also added a fantastic fan, just the cheaper model where it just uh, exhausts the air, has three speeds for $125. All right, we are getting down there. Let me check my list and see what's left. All right, we are getting down there, and this is what is left on my list of what it cost for us to convert our sprinter van to a camper van ourselves. We have a little toilet in there. That was about $55. I sewed the curtains, put fabric over the little toilet box, and made insulated blackout curtains. Uh, the fabric and those supplies were about $130. We had to buy a few tools, uh, some stuff for the cutting out our windows in the van, and we spent about $85 on some extra tools. Uh, the tile on the kitchen, about $30. The lights in the van were about $50. Let's see. I think that is about it on our list. So all in all, our whole van cost to convert it about $5,200, plus the cost of the van of $21,000. We felt that it was a good value, it'll last a long time, uh, it's kind of a dual purpose vehicle where we can uh, use it for other things rather than just camping. And uh, and hoping, hoping that the diesel will last a long time. Now you can see that these numbers can vary greatly depending on how much you do, if you get good deals on stuff, how much you have to buy. Solar, if you don't add solar, that's a whole bunch. If you don't have to add the windows or seats, that is a tremendous savings. Those three things, the windows, the seats, and the solar was our biz biggest expense. And we can always add on to it and add a little bit more solar and uh, improve it. Obviously this cost, this total that I gave you, has nothing to do with anything mechanical. No fixes of the engine or motor, no oil changes or anything like that. So you always need to take that into account uh, of a vehicle. It may need tires. Uh, it may need some other work, and we have put money into ours already, but um, that figure, like I said, does not include anything mechanical. It's just strictly 
putting it into the camper RV part of it. Another popular question is, would we do it again? Yeah, we'd do it again. This is what happens when you try to film in the woods. I gotta watch out for wild animals. There's signs of wild pig all over. Let's find some turkeys. There you go. Oh, just some. There they are. Just catching a glimpse of them. I was too busy looking for wild pigs instead. Almost mixed, missed the turkeys. I'm going to show you the wild pig poop here in just a minute. Let's see where they're at. Look at this stuff here. See the poop? Nice big pig poop. Wild pig poop. There's some more. And they dig up all on the side of the hill. Some older stuff here. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already.